What the hell? Hasn't anybody got anything to say? We were waiting to hear what you had to say, Father. Stop mumbling. I said, what do you think of Atterbury's survey? Said nothing of the sort. But if you want my opinion, I think it's fiddle-faddle. What do you think, Junior? I concur with you, Grandfather. You are always right. No one is always right. <coughs> Mr. Quintain is outside, Mr. Nassau. I'm not in. He knows that Miss Cherie and Mr. Kozlovsky are here. Yeah, well, well, I ain't here. Now listen, both of you, and concentrate hard. Quintain knows more about the picture business than any of us. We fooled him so far because this is not picture business. It's hijacking. Ah, the genius of Colossal. Quintain, glad to see you. You're a liar. Now it's going, girlie. My dog. Listen, you've got a picture to finish, or maybe it slipped your mind. I cannot shoot without the man. Oh, don't give me that. From the start, this picture smelled from herring. First it was writers, dozens of them. Then your cameramen. You shoot five weeks with a guy that's been photographing you since 1898. And just because he can't squirt a elixir of youth out of his lens, you start from scratch with a new boy. Oh, Doug, you know that. I know you've stalled a million bucks extra load on a picture. Naturally, New York's got a yen to know what's the matter. Well, get this. I'm not taking the slap for it. You're the producer, aren't you? He's just your director. She's your yeah, What have you got to do with this? Or have you? Say, listen, Chisler, if I thought you had your slimy oh, paws on this... Oh, Pour yourself a drink. Doug, you don't expect me to play a love scene I don't feel. Love scene's the way you feel them. Look, Camille, they've got senses, or maybe you haven't heard. Ah, oh, listen, baby. Who shall I tell him's calling? Mr. Dodd. Mr. Atterbury Dodd? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have known. Why? You've never seen me before? Uh, sit down, Mr. Dodd. Mr. Quintain, before we discuss business, let me say that I will consider it an impertinence if you ask me to carouse, drink, or go to parties. Well, may I ask what prompts this? Well, your Mr. Potts seems to be under the impression that I am given to riotous living. I don't want you to make the same mistake. I'm neither a liberty nor a charlatan. I'm here for one purpose only, to ascertain why it is the Colossal is losing money instead of making it. Please don't go away. Miss Plum. You show me a picture of myself that is not pleasant to behold. I seem to have led an odd kind of existence. I've been unaware of life as it went on around me. But I was contented. And I didn't want to be disturbed in my contentment. I seem to have been left a long way behind. Then you better start catching up. I agree. What are you going to do about it? In the future, I shall not tether my emotions. I shall give life an opportunity to make me the kind of person I might have been. Miss Plum, do you dance? Yes, of course. Good. I won't be home for dinner. No, and Mrs. Mack, don't hold dinner for Mr. Atterbury either. <laughs> no. Goodbye. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it if I'd seen it with my own eyes. Come on. One, two. Where do you plan on going tonight? Four. One. I decided to take your advice, Miss Plant. Three. Four. I'm going out dancing. One. Two. With Miss Cherie. You better take the rug with you. You. You vacuum. You. Why, Miss Plum? Why, Miss Plum, you're. You're wonderful. Well, I don't see anything wonderful about it. It's just plain jujitsu, a trick of leverage. Leverage? The principle of Archimedes, the Greek mathematician. Well, I don't know anything about that. All I know is it comes in very handy when some guy who's driving you home tries to shift gears with your knee. Miss Plum, teach me how to do that. I taught you how to do the tango and look what happened. By the way, how'd you make out with that female Casanova? Miss Plum, I must insist that you grant Miss Cherie the respect... The respect to which she's entitled, is that it? Protecting her against me, huh? And now you want me to teach you jujitsu. If you don't mind, Miss Plum. It'll be a pleasure. 